of them, you will hear the name Bo Guidosh quite a bit tonight when they're on offense. Uh, Guidosh, one of the top big school rushers, in the has won the toss. And I believe they have deferred, if that's the signal I can read. Madonna will get the option now. No, Toronto will get the ball. <laughs> We'll go with Toronto Boyd for their kickoff. And right now, to bring you all of the play-by-play -play of tonight's Madonna-Toronto High School football game, here's John Sereni. Baloga raises his arm, moves forward on the ball, and the squib kick uh, sails over the short receivers. It's picked up now at the 20, out over the 25, still running at the 30, and pounded down at the 31-yard line. The uh, line as we start play tonight. White and red-clad Toronto Red Knights with Farrell, the quarterback, sets him up in an eye formation. Here's a pitch going around the right side. Guidosh finds running room, picks up about five as he gets to the 35-yard line. The stop out there was made by the new corners for the Madonna Blue Dons, David Burns, the deep man, and Tim Daughtery, the monster back. Second and five, I formation. Farrell calls signals, hands it to the up back. He finds two or three yards before he's knifed to the ground. Running with the ball is sign. I formation with a wing back in a slot right. Farrell sets him up. And give the Guidos right side. He bangs into the line and has, with second effort, what appears to be a first down. He was shot. Uh, stopped shy of the 40-yard line. Some trick formation, so the Madonna Blue Dons will have to be very aware defensively of what they'll see from Toronto tonight. Man in motion to the left side, eye formation. They give the guide off. He cuts it inside, and he is brought down as he gets to the 45-yard line. But stopped to the 45-yard line. Eye formation, guide off, uh, dots the eye, signs is the up back as Farrell calls signals against the Madonna uh, 52 defense. And here's a pitch to Guidos going around the right side, turns the corner at the 45, and is wrestled out of bounds at the 49-yard line. Over to some running room to the outside, and he shows pretty good north to south speed. Bolts is split to the left side. They have a man in a slot left out of the I formation. Pitch the ball to Guidos. He wants to turn the corner, now cuts it inside, breaks out into the secondary, across the 35, down to the Madonna 31-yard line. Oh, he does have some quick. <laughs> Toronto sends a man in motion to the right side. The quarterback fumbles the football and dives on it. It looks like he wanted to pitch the ball to guide us. And right now, he's losing the ball and puts Toronto in a long situation, which they haven't had tonight. High formation, Farrell. Pitching the ball to Guidos. He cuts it inside. Running room across the 30. Still driving down to the 25-yard line. Guidos gets the yardage back quickly. He gets them in bunches on the shoulders and legs of Bo Guidos. High formation. Farrell, the quarterback, sends a man in motion to the right side. Give to Guidos on the right side, and Guidos is denied, I believe, the first down. The Blue Dons, I think, have denied him the first down. And here come the Red Knights up to the line of scrimmage. Madonna deploys on defense. The eye formation with a wing back to the left side in a slot. Long count by the quarterback, Farrell. Farrell gives the ball to Guidos on a draw play. Guidos is trapped in the backfield and dropped. Gave it a deep handoff that time. Appeared to be a draw play, but uh, the Madonna Blue Don line was charging in, and they were looking for Guidosh. I'll tell you what. to go. And they're out of the huddle, and they're up to the line of scrimmage in the eye at the Madonna 32-yard line. Farrell takes the snap. Farrell rolls left, looks upfield, throws a pass, has a man, and they're going to have interference against Madonna. The pass incomplete, however, interfered. It looked as if Toronto had killed themselves with the penalty, and the Blue Dons give it to him right back. High formation. Farrell sets it up. Farrell gives the ball up the middle, and we have flags everywhere. And 15. Koski is split out to the right side. High formation, wing back right. Farrell pitches to Guidosh around the right side. Guidosh is hit, cannot turn the corner. The Blue Dons break him down, and he's going to lose yardage. Second and 18 at the Blue Don 24. Again, the eye formation. Man in motion to the left side. And rolling.
holding left to throw. He's being chased. Looks upfield. He's nailed. He can't even get back. Well, maybe got back to the line of scrimmage. That's all. The quarterback, Farrell, to go in the first quarter. And Toronto has controlled the ball the entire uh, first quarter. Give it to the up back signs. He's into the secondary sign. Still running at the five. Put it in the book. Sign goes right up the middle. They will line up for what appears to be a two-point conversion. Out of the eye formation. Farrell puts a man in motion to the right. Farrell throws the pass. It's hit up into the air, and it is incomplete. The ball knocked away as they tried to hit the wideout coming across the middle. It goes incomplete with Forrest Merrick, the deep man for the Blue Dons. Moves forward on the football, low squib kick, and the Blue Dons having trouble fielding it. Now it's picked up and dropped again, and now diving on it at the 24-yard line. Much bigger football team. Madonna out of the huddle. Down six to nothing here in the first quarter. Running backs are Hawk and Daughtery. Backle gives the ball on the left side, and a fumble. Ball fumble. We have a flag down. Toronto gets the football. Let's see what the flag is. Hugh Miles with the recovery for the Toronto Red Knights. And now the officials are going to coming in here two and three, and they're just taking it right at the Blue Dons right now. Signs and Gaydosh, the running backs. They pitch to Gaydosh. He turns to turn the corner. The Blue Dons will bring him down, but we have another yellow handkerchief. Is, uh, either in his first or second week as a starter for Toronto at the quarterback, Matt Nurzik had been their quarterback to start the season. High formation, wing back in the slot right. And rolling to throw. Farrell looks downfield, fires the ball. Intercepted at the 45 to the 50. Beautiful interception by the Blue Dogs. David Oseba. And Oseba comes up with a big interception, just stepped right in. Madonna dressed in dark blue, silver headgear, white numerals. Pro set behind the quarterback, Backle. Rolls along the line of scrimmage, cuts it back inside. Backle still running at the 35, the 30, and knocked out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Jason Backle. Found plenty of open room along the line and was able to get towards the sideline. And this time they give the ball to Burns, and Burns is hit at the line of scrimmage. He still drives forward, but uh, I don't think their fourth play of the first quarter. High formation. Backle on the option, looks upfield, fires the pass. It's incomplete, in and out of the hands of the intended receiver, intended downfield. Zinski is split to the left side, DeCarlo to the right. Backle takes the snap, back to throw, looking, he's hit, and he throws the pass. It's complete at the 35, and the man is dropped at the 36-yard line. Negative yardage on a completion for Madonna. And there's the snap, and the kick is away. High, wobbly punt ended for the Coffin corner, and it's going to roll dead at the six-yard line. And uh, they're going to power sweeps. They spot the ball at the seven. They give the ball to the up-back signs on that quick opener, but this time the Blue Don defense was alert to it. Seen to go here in the first quarter of play. High formation with a man in a slot left. Madonna in a 5-3 defense. And here's a pitch to Gaidosh. He tries to come outside, turns the corner. Gaidosh at the 20, and he's brought down at the 20-yard line. Five and 14 rushing plays. High formation, slot right, and now football. First and 10 from their own 19-yard line with just 37 seconds left to go in the first quarter, which has been thoroughly dominated by the Toronto offense. Farrell sends a man in motion to the left side. Farrell. Gives the ball to Gaidosh. He tries to uh, rack through the left side of the offensive. Toronto certainly has dominated this first quarter. I formation. Farrell, and we have flags ever on their roster and uh, leads to some inexperience. Farrell hands to Gaidosh. He cracks into the middle of the line, and the Blue Dons are there to bring him down at the 10-yard line. So it's second down in the first half. It's second and 20. Second down 20 for Toronto at their own 10. High formation, Farrell gives to the up back signs and he is hit right at the line of scrimmage. Nyman hit him to turn the ball over and give the Blue Dons
rebound, an easy opportunity to score. Slot right this time, high formation. Barrel pitches to Gaidosh. He turns the corner, gets into the secondary, cuts it back inside. Gaidosh at the 25, the 30, the 35, the 40, being chased at the 45, and caught from behind, but all the way out to the 45. Game here at, with uh, 10 minutes or so to go in the first half, and uh, Wheeling Central was able to get all last week. High formation, they give it up the middle to Signs, and Signs hit and brought down once again by the center of the Blue Dog. Matter of fact, they have not stopped him. They have had trouble, really, when they have allowed him an opportunity to cut back, and that's where he's really hurt him for big gains. High formation, give the ball to Guidos. Hit in the backfield and drop. Breaking through is Joe Chodosky, the 6, 195-pound senior. 12 rushes, 96 yards. Brian signs in with five for 25 yards. High formation. Long count by Farrell. And Farrell gives to Guidosh, finds a big hole on the left side, breaks into the secondary, gets inside the 25, down to the Madonna 22-yard line. Where the two? What do you watch for? That quick opener or Guidosh? Here's Farrell, the quarterback. Rolling left, he wants to keep the ball. He's being chased. Nyman has him and brings him down back at the 32-yard line. Mike. Five. And the handoff is to Daughtery. Daughtery finds running room. Daughtery across the 40, up to the 43-yard line. Daughtery gets in the huddle. Blue Dons have only run the ball four times. They have 41 yards rushing, but they just haven't had the football. Backle under center. Backle gives the ball on the right side. Fumble the ball loose. I think Toronto has it, and they do. The Red Knights get the football as it's fun. That defense has been out there a long time, Michael, already. I formation, Farrell calls signals. Farrell gives on the quick opener, and this time Signs is uh, stopped right at the four. Wake up, I formation. Wing back left, split end to the right. Watch for the counter play. Farrell gives the ball off on the left side, and Guidosh is hit and dropped after he crosses the 40. We have a flag down. And 14 at the 35-yard line. High formation. Wing back in the slot right. Farrell. Back to throw. Looks. Throws a swing pass. It's a lateral pass, actually. And second down, 19. 6.50 to go first quarter. Toronto leading 6-0. High formation, wing back left, split end to the right side. Madonna with four down linemen. Farrell wants to throw, looks upfield, fires the pass. It's knocked away by Jason Backel, intended upfield. Ball at the 30-yard line, third down 19. This is stop it down for the Blue Dons, and a long gain needed by Toronto. Farrell. Takes the snap, pitch to Guidosh. Guidosh turns the corner at the 30, but he's piled on by the Blue Don defense. Cut back into the pursuit, and this time the Blue Dons were there to bring him down. And dropping back into punt formation for Toronto is Bill Cromer. And he passed Merrick back for the Blue Dons. Waiting for the snap, it's a good one. The Blue Dons have return on. High spiraling kick taken at the 39. Kazmerich eludes one man, and then he's hit and dropped back at the 38-yard line. Gave up a little ground. Football with just about 5.50 to go here in the second quarter, and the Dons trailing 6-0. Shodzinski split to the left side. Jason Backel gives the ball off on the left side, and it's Oseba spinning out across the 40. And again, Shodzinski split to the left side. He's the wing back in a pro set behind Backel. Backel along the line of scrimmage, pitching the ball back now. Burns trying to turn the corner. Burns is spun around and dropped as he gets to the 42-yard line. It's contest. Lafferty comes into the ball game. He's the split end on the left side. Pro set behind Backel. Five down lineman for Toronto. Backel along the line of scrimmage. Gives the ball off. Oseba across the 45 to the 50. Down to the 49-yard line at Toronto. A first down for the Blue Dons. Split end to the right side. The Blue Dons out of the huddle quickly. Backel gives the ball off. No, he keeps the football. Turns the corner at the 50 to 45. And dragged out of bounds at the Toronto 42-yard line. The tackle at the 40-yard line. Pick up nine on the play. Second and about a yard. Backel gives the ball right side. First down for the Blue Dons. Hawk was the ball carrier. And he gets the ball inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. Thought for the Madonna Blue Dons. Asaba teaming with David Burns. Tim Daughtery teams with Brian Hawk. And back 
Pacheco under center. Jason takes the snap, gives the ball to Burns, and Burns knifes his way across the 35 to the 34-yard line. Nothing to score, Toronto in the lead. Wing back right is Shodzinski. Pro set. And the quarterback keeps the football, tries to cut it inside, but he runs into a white and red wall that shoves him back. On good yardage, this time Toronto had cut off the cutback lane and nailed him after a gain of a yard. High formation, wing back right. Backle rolling right on the option, looking upfield. Now he wants to run with it. He still looks, fires a pass upfield. It is caught. No, what is it? It is a reception. What a beautiful catch. An interception. At the, at the interception. I thought it was a catch by the Blue Dons, but at the seven yard. Do Madonna Blue Don drives. This one very critical. There was an open man quickly on the short out pattern. But back on not seeing him and trying to go deep down the field gets picked off. High formation, Farrell pitching to Guidos. Guidos trying to turn the corner, finds some running room, gets across the 10 and knocked out of bounds at the 13 or 14 yard line. Very, very well. High formation, Farrell the quarterback. Nothing fancy out of this team. Here's Guidosh coming around the corner. Guidosh looking to turn up field. He's knocked down as he gets to the 16-yard line. Oseba, well, he can pick him up and lay him down. I'm going to tell you that. High formation signs the up back. Guidosh the deep back. Farrell fakes, gives the sign, signs, hit in the backfield. Oseba shooting the game. Here's the punt, fielded at the 45 to the 40, still running at the 35, brought down at the 35-yard line. Casimir. Madonna right now with great field position. They need to get something on the board before the half. High formation, rolling left is Jason Backel, looking upfield, throws the pass, incomplete, over the head of the intended receiver, David Hawk. Maybe they do have to try and hit a little bit more of the out patterns and try and pick up a few yards, at least to get into field goal range for Steve Beloga. High formation, wing back to the right side, rolling left. Backle has time, lobs a pass downfield. It is knocked away. And we're going to have an interference call. May Uma. Dons trying to get the ball in. 42 seconds to go in the first half. Down six to nothing. Hand off on the right side, and Daughtery is hit and spun around as he gets to about the 16 or 17 yard line. For Toronto was Pete Earhart making the stop. The Blue Dons trying to line up quickly. They go back in. Back. Out of the huddle, 20 seconds. High formation. Now he turns around, Backle, down to 15 seconds. Backle takes the snap, rolling right, looking upfield, lobbing a pass into the end zone. It's caught, but he's out of the end zone. The pass caught. And Backle will put the ball down for Veloga at the 24, 34-yard attempt. There's the kick. It's long enough, and it is off to the right. It was long enough, the Madonna Blue Dodge. Mike will be back with all of the... And here to bring you that play-by-play -play action, here's John Sereni. And here's the squib kick rolling along the ground, bounces up at the 30-yard line, fumbled, and then uh, we had a little piling on that the officials ignore. And uh, he's been on defense, and he's also played quite a bit tight end. First Shut. down, 10 at the 29-yard line. Madonna on the attack. Jason Backle, the quarterback. Backle gives the ball off on the right side to Burns. He spins across the 30, gets out to the 32-yard line where he's stuck. Nothing score with 11-17 to go in the third quarter. Again, Jason Backle calls signals. Backle fumbles the snap, dives on the football right at the line of scrimmage. He was. They'll send Shodzinski to this side. Split backs in the backfield. Wing back to the right. And on a, coming around the left side, being chased and hit in the backfield. Jason Backle rolling to his left was being pursued. On the play, so the Blue Dons moving in the wrong direction on their opening drive here of the second half. And, and they'll send Kazmarek back into punt formation. And they're going to have to kick to Guidosh. Here's the kick, low end over end kick that gets a Madonna bounce inside the 40 and will be downed at the 35 yard line. Guidosh never had a chance at that one. Uh, they have the football first and 10 at their own 35. 
And we'll have to see if the Red Knights will change up any strategy or just continue to go to Guidosh. Here's Guidosh hit in the backfield and drop back a, for a loss of a yard. The first man to hit and out of the huddle. The wing back to the left side. Over there is Brian Koski. High formation. And here's a pitch to Guidosh. He's coming around the right side. A flag goes down and he's dropped as he got back to the line of scrimmage. And now the Madonna defense tries to Guidosh. Except for one time, fourth and long, they went right up the middle with signs for the touchdown. Well, let's see what they do. They've got the eye formation, Farrell under the center. Farrell takes the snap, pitch to Guidosh around the left side. He's hit and dropped as he crosses the 35, gets to the 36 yard line, and Nyman was over there for the penalty. So back to receive for Madonna. Ken Kazmarek standing at his own 34 yard line. And Toronto, I believe, is going to call timeout. Back at Jimmy Carey Stadium, the Toronto Red Knights facing a fourth down and about eight and a half yards to go. Send Comer back in punt formation. Kazmarek back to receive, waiting for the snap. Long count, very long, trying to draw Madonna offside. Now they snap it. The kick is away. It's a boomer. Kazmarek takes it at the 30 yard line. Gets a block, but doesn't get enough, and he's dropped at the 30 yard line. So, as you say, you're wondering when Madonna will explode. Daughtery and Hawk in the backfield. Lots of running room to the right. And the quarterback takes the ball, cuts it back inside, finds running room, still driving as he gets across the 40 yard line out to the 41. It, Backle brings him up to the line of scrimmage. Five down linemen for Toronto. And on a counter play, they give to Daughtery, and Daughtery gets the first down as he crosses the 40, gets to the 44 yard. After seeing Madonna rush for 460 yards last week, very surprised by how well Toronto has been able to contain them. High formation, give the ball to the quarterback, keeps it, and drives across the 50 to the 48 yard line. Just a snap and follow. Eight second down and three. Wing back to the right side, pro set behind the quarterback, Jason Backall. Backle hands the ball off to Hawk, and Hawk is hit right at the line of scrimmage and wrestled back. Pro set behind Jason Backle. Backle gives the ball to Daughter. He's hit in the backfield, spun around, and wrestles forward close to a first down. He's come out to run the football. And the Blue Don fans yelling, go. Backle, right side. First down and more for Hawk as he crosses the 40 and gets to the Toronto 39 yard line. Out of the huddle, the Blue Dons with probably their best offensive series of the evening. Pro set behind the quarterback. Backle keeps the football, wrestles forward for maybe a yard. Be Backle that they, they've had it pretty well closed off when he's tried to run the option one way and come back the other. Jason Backle under the center. Backle hands the ball on a counter play to Hawk. Hawk into the secondary down to the 30 yard line. Right, midway between the hash marks, Madonna moving right to left. Backle with a third and two. Takes the snap. Give it all on the right side to Daughtery. Daughtery still running as he gets inside the 20 down to the 17 yard line. And he may have fumbled the football. Now let's see. Did he fumble it? And what happened? What happened here? Now let's see the officials talk as the Blue Dons come out of the huddle. DeCarlo right. Shot Zinski to the left eye formation. Daughtery dots the eye. And he fumbles the snap, gets it back. Backle dives into the line and maybe got to the 15 yard. A 6 0 lead. Two and a half to go in the first or third quarter, rather. 11th play of the drive, which started on the Blue Dons 30 yard line. Backle takes the snap, dives forward. Backle muscles his way to the 10 yard line. Jason Backle. At Jimmy Carey Stadium, the Madonna Blue Dons. like to pick up this first down and Toronto would like to stuff them right here. Let's see what happens. Hawk and Daughtery in the backfield behind Backle. Jason Backle takes the snap, dives forward, Backle, touchdown! But we have a flag! The Blue Dons are going for it. Fourth and five and an inch. Fake the handoff, Backle around the end, Backle driving to about the Six yard line. He's he going to be have the first down. Close to the first down. 
to give it on this drive as they put together one long tough drive. Six nothing the score. Toronto in the lead. Backel brings them up to the line of scrimmage. Backel takes the snap, gives the ball to Hawk. He's hit and dropped at the five yard line. Hawk could not get anywhere. The split out on the right side. Shadzinski to the left. Backel takes the snap. Backel wants to keep the football. Dives to maybe the two. Jason Backel tried to cut the six nothing. The Blue Dons knocking at the door. Hawk and Daughtery the running backs. Backel calls signals. Backel quarterback keeper. He can only get maybe to the one. They're going to break the huddle instead Here of getting they come. Down to five seconds. Will he get it off? Backel, right side, diving into the end zone. Daughtery! Daughtery! That's the end of the first quarter. Third. Or third <laughs> quarter. I, I'm all right. And on the last play of the third quarter, on a diving two yard run by Tim Daughtery, the kick by Beloga was wide to the right. And that critical point right there makes it 6 6 as Beloga has the ball teed up on its side, set to kick off. From the 40 yard line to our left with Bo Guidos, the dangerous man deep at around the 10 yard line. And the ball on its side. Ready to move forward on the ball. There's the squib kick going off to the left side, rolling around the 20 yard line, picked up at the 17, out over the 25, still running at the 30 and brought down at the 33 yard line. So Toronto now will have the football and out of the huddle. Now we have a uh, the spread formations that Toronto used all last week. Very spread formation. Direct snap back to Guidosh. Guidosh running around the left side. Guidosh trying to get outside goes no. Where he won't gain a yard and instead and the top of Wheaties boxes. <laughs> and All right, here's one. the spread formation once again. Single running back, seven men to the left side, and we have another flag. And this time Guidosh is going to be dropped all the way back at the 15-yard line. And this is not working. Under 100 yards. High formation. They come out in the regular set this time. And the quarterback gives the ball to the up back signs and he doesn't go anywhere. The Blue Dons have held. Hawk brings him down, but it just didn't work. And that was only the sixth play Toronto has run from the line of scrimmage in this half. Well, punt formation for the Red Knights. There's the snap and the kick is away. High, beautiful spiraling punt taken and now fumble and still loose and picked up now by Kasmerik back at the 38 yard line. That's where he's dropped. Advantage in the ball game. Ten and a half minutes to go in the game. We're tied at six. Pro set behind the quarterback. Hand off on the left side. Running room for Oseba across the 40 out to the 45 yard line. Backel calls signals from a pro set. Backel gives on a counter play and once again Oseba with a first down as it gets to the Toronto four We're tied at six. Shadzinski split to the right side. Backel takes the snap. He wants to throw the football. Lobs it downfield. Has a man wide up and it's caught by Burns inside the 20 down to the 16 yard line. Burns was wide open. Miles had to bring 6 6 our score. Tim Daughtery, Brian Sines with the touchdowns for Madonna and Toronto, respectively. It was a beautiful catch by Burns over the shoulder like clink scales. Here's the handoff to Burns in the backfield, and Burns trying to come around the end gets back to the left. Shodzinski comes to the right side. DiCarlo to the left. Pro set. And the quarterback along the line of scrimmage, pitching it back to Oseba. Oseba is hit and dropped. Breaking through was John Parker, 5 nine on the ends and not allowing Madonna to make the turn on the corner. And the Blue Dons said the penalty really put him in a bind. Now third down, 25. Pro set and coming to the left side. He wants to run the football, tries to cut inside, and the quarterback is dropped. Jason, if, if they can't get away with a big play instead of putting it up for the possible interception, they have a field goal kicker that if in overtime, they can get it, get the ball through the, the uprights. Here's the punt, high spiraler, and it's rolling inside the 20 and is down at the 20-yard line. That they don't this time. They'll come out in the set they showed all first half. Wide man to the left, wing to the right, high backfield. And Farrell calls signals. Farrell takes the snap, gives the ball to Guidosh. He's hit at the line of scrimmage and drop. Guidosh out of the huddle. 
Two men split to the left side. I formation. Farrell calls signals. And Farrell pitching the ball to Guidosh. He's hit by Daughtery. Gets away from him. Still running. Reverses his field. Picks up blockers. And now he's knocked out of bounds at about the uh, line of scrimmage. No, at the 15-yard line. And they now have 105 for the ball game. Farrell brings them up to the line of scrimmage. They're in an eye formation. Farrell takes the snap. Pitch to Guidosh. Guidosh running around the right side is dropped as he gets to the 20-yard line. He uh, at about his own five-yard line. Kazmarek standing at his own 47, and waiting for the snap. Cromer got off a big kick the last time, some 48 yards, and we'll see if he can do it again. Here's the kick, and it's a low spiral that hits at the 45, gets to the 50. Kaczmarek lets it roll, and it'll go out of bounds at the Blue Don, 43. There's six minutes to go here, and you're listening to High School Football on 1430 WEIR, Weirton, Steubenville. Jason Backel, the quarterback, calls signals. Backel gives the ball on the right side to Daughtery. Daughtery finds running room, still going at the 45, and wrestled down at the 43-yard line of Toronto it's a 10 at the Toronto 44 yard line Backle looks over the defense now calls signals wing back to the right side give the ball on the left side and knifed after a gain of maybe a yard is hot and the Bonanna Blue Dots need this game desperately playing a larger class school in the Toronto Red Knights high formation here comes Backle he's got blockers in front of him Backle at the 40 Backle is going to be stopped at the 36 yard line Wing back left to Shodzinski. Backle gives the ball off to Daughtery. First down and more. Daughtery inside the 30, down to the 26-yard line of the Red Knights. And the Blue Dogs. Keep this one going and punch it in. They've been able to just move Toronto off the line of scrimmage. DiCarlo split to the left side. Backle takes the snap, gives the ball off to Oseba, and Oseba drives down close to the 22-yard line. Dave Oseba, the Red Knights, out of the huddle. Still that pro set for the Blue Dons. Counter play to Oseba. Oseba driving close to first down yardage as he gets the ball down to the 15-yard line. It's going to be... John Give it back to us. Just come straight to us. Look. While we were away, Daughtery takes the ball to the nine yard line, second and three, handoff on the left side, and Oseba is stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. He can go nowhere. The ball got every opportunity here, but with third down, four and four yards to go, they're going to go straight at him right now. Here's Backel keeping the football. Backel inside the five. He has a first down. I believe he does. At the four yard line, Jason Backel has a first down. Over there, 252, Sean Conlon, 75, six, six foot six foot junior. And I'm yeah. sure they have him to try and have somebody move him out for the first <laughs> time tonight. He's on that line on the left side, so we might see Madonna run right. First and goal at the four for the Blue Dogs. Jason Backel under the center. Backel takes the snap, give the ball on the right side to Oseba. He's denied the end zone at the two. Oseba gets the ball to the threatening at the Toronto two-yard line. DiCarlo split to the left side. Jason Backel calls signals. Backel gives the ball to Daughtery, and we have a flag go down. Daughtery got into the end zone, but we have a flag. Let's hold up. What is this? Now the Blue Dons are going to call timeout. Madonna. Yeah, it sounds pretty good, Kevin. Sounds like we got a good doubleheader coming at you because we got an excellent ball game here at Jimmy Carey Stadium. Here's Backle, second and goal at the 10. Jason Backle has a little spin. Backle at the five, gets to the four. Backle did a 360. But they may be thinking Toronto's going to feel that way, and they go to the right. Maybe because feeling that Toronto will slant towards the left. The ball is on the hash mark on the right side. That's a tough angle. Let's see what they do. Give the ball. No, the quarterback keeps it, and we have flags down. We have movement in the line. Depends on who's it on. It's, it's on a the goal line defense for Toronto returns to the field. 
they clog up the middle, that's for certain. Third and goal at the two for the Blue Dogs. 35 seconds to go. We're tied 6-6. Jason Backel pitching the ball to Daughtery. Touchdown! Daughtery around right in. Goes in for the touchdown, and the Blue Dogs lead it for the first time tonight with 29. Stone for the touchdown, and now Balaga will attempt the extra point out of a hold of Jason Backel. Here's the staff, the placement, the kick. It is good. 29 seconds to go in the game. Madonna leads to run. The game, and I believe we've had one here tonight. And uh, we'll let uh, we'll let that story develop later. We don't want to talk about it now. Well, a kickoff for Madonna with 29 seconds to go. They lead at 13-6. Here's the squib kick headed toward the far sidelines, and it is not going to roll out of bounds. Picked up over there by Toronto, and they're snowed under at the 24-yard line. And they didn't get out of bounds. So when the ball gets set, that clock will start to run with 25 seconds. Up as a wide receiver this time. Well, I'm going to tell you what, they're going to have the triple receivers trip, to the near sideline. Trips to the left. And back to throw. And the rush is on, and he's dropped back at the 15-yard line. We have a new quarterback in there for Toronto. It's Matt. Toronto comes up to the line of scrimmage. They have triple receivers to the left side. Quarterback back in a shotgun. Nursing. They're letting everybody get set, and now we have the officials Fisher's calling timeout. a timeout. Triple receivers to the left side from their own 32-yard line. Toronto's the snap to Nurzik. Looks downfield. He just throws up the bomb, and it is knocked around, and it is on the ground, and the pass is incomplete. And now the uh, pass incomplete. It'll have to come back upfield. It's a Hail Mary pass they're throwing. The scoreboard clock shows three seconds. I believe there's six left. It's third down. That's not important. This is probably, in all probability, the last play of the ballgame. And Nurzik winding his arm up. Triple receivers to the left side. Hail Mary pass. He looks downfield. He fires it deep. And the pass is intercepted by Kazmarek back at the 20-yard line. He's dropped. And the ball game is it over. The officials uh, indicating that the ball game is over. And the Tor Toronto Red Knights had a lead here in the first half. Went into the dressing room 6-0. Madonna comes back out and scores 13 points in the second half. The last seven coming with less than a minute to go in the ball. Bishops. This is the time of year when you get some surprise teams that sneak up on people. Bishop Donahue is one of those. After an opening shutout loss at undefeated Tyler, the Bishops have reeled off five straight wins. With a big matchup Saturday against another unbeaten Weirton Madonna, they too are thinking playoffs. It's a credit to these kids and the coaches to be in that position. The Bishops are small in numbers. Only 27 kids are here, including freshmen. They also appear small in stature. You look at them standing around and do not envision a 5 and one football team. We haven't had probably our best 11 all year. We've always had somebody injured. So uh, the kids that were in reserve roles come in and played and did an excellent job for us. And uh, we've been able to hang in there against some teams and win some ball games. The Bishop's offensive line has done a fine job, and they've run the ball very well. Tommy Moore, at a whopping 145 pounds, has almost 500 yards rushing. This week, they welcome the return of Danny Boner. We're happy to have him back. He's been out for the last four ball games with a broken arm, and uh, so he's going to play this Saturday night. And uh, he's been a defensive starter for the past two years and, and played the two years before that. He's earning his fourth varsity letter, so uh, I think just having him back will be an inspiration to our team. Tonight at 11, We'll look at those blue dawns of Weirton Madonna. For TV7 Sports, I'm George Kellis. Good morning. Football season.
Today, they are 6-0 and zero and regarded as one of the state's elite teams. George Kellis has more. After Madonna's opening night victory against Triple-A Oak Glen, the first Charleston Daily Mail poll was released. Conspicuously absent from the top 15 in Class A was none other than Madonna. With a busload of seniors on the squad, this is a team that has strived to earn respect. Today, they are recognized as the number one Class A team in West Virginia. I think they're still hungry for the respect. I, I think that in the Weirton, uh, Stewartville, Wheeling area, we, you know, a lot of people know that we're not a, a fluke team or anything like that, but still, they, they have a lot of stuff to prove, and, uh, yeah, they like it. They There's like plenty it. of balance on this team. If you've seen them play, you become impressed with their quickness, especially coming off the ball. It's said there are several areas you must excel in to win football games. This club is strong in those areas. Our offensive line is really doing an excellent job, and our defense is, you know, is a very stalwart defense. They don't like people to score on them. Tomorrow at 6, we'll have more on the Blue Dawn's upcoming game with Bishop Donahue. Be sure to join us. For TV7 Sports, I'm George King. It's mixed it up well since I've been back here anyway as a coach, and uh, you never know whether they're going to run or throw the football, and we're going to have to be ready. They have uh, overall excellent team speed, and uh, we're going to do our best defensively to, to try to counter uh, their team speed. And uh, we have a, a little sign in our locker room that says, uh, you know, you don't have to have the lead if you have the heart to come from behind. So uh, we're going to Three to nothing. Ball. Blue trousers, blue numerals, very colorful down on the field as we're ready to start this evening's football game. Here's the kickoff. Beautiful high end over end. Taken by Lucchino at the 3. Out over the 10, the 15. Still running at the 20. And out past the 25 to about the 26-yard line. Lucchino got the ball at the 3. 23-yard run back. Brings the ball to the 26. That's where the Blue Dons will have it. First down, 10 yards to go. Madonna moving left to right. Bishop Donahue won the toss, deferred, and the Blue Dons uh, took the option of receiving the football. So out of the huddle comes Madonna. Shodzinski will be split to the right side, and they're saying to get the clock started, and the clock has not started. And they may have to, out of the huddle come the Blue Dons. Pro set behind quarterback Jason Backle. Hawk and Daughtery. Backle gives the ball off. The Hawk fumbles the football, and uh, there was a big pile up for it, and I think he came back up with it. So uh, Hawk was the ball carrier, and he had a little bad exchange, but he does come up with a gain of, uh, oh, let's give him about three yards on the play. Make it second down, just about seven to go. The ball at the 30 yard line. Hawk, the ball carrier. And Brian had a little trouble holding on to the football last week, fumbling the first two times he carried it. And uh, on the option play, going along the line of scrimmage, here's Jason Backle driving for what appears to be a first down as he gets um, out over the 35 to about the 37-yard line. Initial contact out there by Brad Fox, 5'10", 157-pound junior, line of scrimmage. Hawk and Daughtery, the running backs. Jason Backle takes the snap on the option, gives the ball to Daughtery. He is stood straight up and thrown back by Ron Kirkus. Five foot ten, 200 pounder, one of the bigger boys on the Bishop Donahue team. They may give him a yard on the play. It'll be second down, just about nine yards to go. Well, they give him two, let's call it. They spot the ball at the 40 yard line. Ball midway between the hash marks as the Blue Dons move from left to right. Early moments of the first quarter, no score. That time, back one able to read the end on the near side and running the option and handing off to the wrong man. Here's a fake of the handoff and a pitch to Daughtery. Daughtery cannot turn the corner, gains maybe a yard, and that's all. Over to make the stop for the Bishops was Dan Boner, 5'6", 138-pound, 5'7", 149-pound senior, rather. And it's going to be third and long for the Blue Dons, third and about seven. The ball at the Blue Don 41-yard line. Madonna out of the huddle. Backle sends Frank Lakino as a split to the right side. Shodzinski is the wing back left. Fake of the handoff, rolling right, looking upfield. Here's the pass downfield, and it is incomplete. 
Good defensive job. The ball under throw intended for Lakino, and a good defensive job by Tony Arroyo, a six foot 154 pound senior. Also, Jeff Bowers getting good pressure that time on Backo. May not have let him get to the outside as much as he wanted to and forced him to throw the ball a little early. So he didn't quite get all that he wanted on it. And the incompleted pass will force the Blue Dogs into a punt situation. Ken Kazmarek deep to do the kicking. Kazmarek gets the snap and gets the kick away. High wobbly punt is taken at the 30 yard line and dropped right at the 32. Down, good pressure downfield by the Blue Dons. First one down there was Brian Hawk, and he brought the ball carrier down at about the 32, let's call it the 33 yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for the Bishops at their own 33 as they move from right to left, their first offensive series now. And we'll get a chance to see what Donahue has on offense. Foose is split out to the uh, left side. The quarterback, Suter, puts a man in motion to the left. And he pitches and coming around the left side, finding a little bit of running room and driving across the 35 is Riley to about the 36 yard line. The initial contact by the Blue Dons, John Molino, the six foot 200 pound senior. They'll spot the ball at the 35. It'll be second down, seven yards to go. No score. Bishop Donahue and Madonna here in the first quarter of play. As we expected, both teams coming out running the football and uh, we would have feel that this will be uh, the attack I think from both teams throughout the night. Man in motion to the left again and again same play same pitch and this time it's brought for uh, a very short yardage if anything Daughtery came in and hit Riley, Riley on, the pitch, on that field. same pitch play and they'll mark him um, right at the 35 so there's a loss actually on that play it'll be third down just about eight yards to go for the Bishops at their own 35 yard line. Sidelines left, running room right as the Bishops come out of the huddle, put a man in a slot right, and they're in a shotgun formation. And Suter takes the snap, fades back to throw, the rush is on, he'll not get it away. The Blue Dons bring him down back at the 30 yard line. In on the stop for the Blue Dons was Brian Maley along with big John Nyman. So, a loss on the play for the Bishops, they'll have to kick it away. And the Blue Dons uh, send Lucchino back uh, to, uh, or excuse me, Ken Kazmarek back to receive the punt. Nine yard loss on the play. The Blue Dons got good pressure out of the shotgun formation. And Bishop Donnie really had no time at all to try and throw that ball. Waiting for the snap. And the snap is a good one and the kick is away. High wobbly punt. It's gonna hit at the Donahue 40. Picked up on a dead run, fumbled. And the ball loose. Let's see. The Bishops have it. Kazmarek tried to catch the ball on a dead run at the Bishops' 45-yard uh, line. It was a short punt. He fumbled the football, and the Bishops recover it first and 10 at the 45. So the Blue Dons uh, have the first costly turnover of the night as Kazmarek fumbles the football, as you say, coming up on the run. And uh, really, a, a, not a very smart play. He tried to catch it and didn't take the big hop as he had hoped for. And they're in a shotgun again. This time it's a direct snap to the halfback. He tries to cut it back inside. Riley did, and he may gain a yard. The direct they ran, which you don't see too often, a direct snap to uh, one of the backs instead of the quarterback. Usually the quarterback will get the ball and try an inside handoff, but they get two yards on the play as Riley took the direct snap. As he tried to cut back inside, his feet went out from under him. It'll be second down and eight at the 47-yard line. We saw similar snaps really in the, the Bel Air St. John's game against the Blue Dons as they snapped to just about everybody in the backfield. And uh, this time they snap it to the other back. He tried to turn the corner that's more and he does not turn the corner as the Blue Dons were over to cover the play David Burns was there along with Brennan Lafferty the 5 860 pound junior of the Blue Dons third down eight for the Bishops at their own 47 yard line 618 to go here in the first quarter of play no score Madonna and Bishop Donahue and we would imagine we'll see the same type of formation as they operated the last time out of a passing situation from the shotgun, and they do so again. Again, the shotgun with a man in a slot left. And the snap back to the quarterback this time. Looks downfield. He'll not get it away. Maley. Maley was in on top of him. 
and he could not get the pass off. He's dropped back at the 40-yard line. That's a loss of, uh, what, about seven yards. So it will be a punting situation again, and once again, Ken Kazmarek drops back, this time standing at his own 30-yard line. Fourth and 15 from the And I don't imagine that Kazmarek will try and catch any balls on the dead run here at that bounce. And the snap is a good one. The kick is away. This is a much better punt. Beautiful high spiral, fair catch signal for, and Kazmarek will take it at his own 27 yard line. So it'll be first and 10 for the Blue Dons at their own 27. Here in the first quarter, no score between Madonna and Bishop Donahue. The Blue Dons move from left to right as we look down uh, from our low vantage point here in the press box at uh, uh, Bishop Donahue's field. 5.21 to go first quarter, second possession for the Blue Dons. No score in the ball game. They have it at their own 27 after the 33-yard punt. Jason Backall gives the ball to Burns, and Burns puts his head down and drives uh, out over the 30-yard line to about the 32. It should be a gain of about five on the play. Second down, five for the Blue Dons at their own 32-yard line. Madonna out of the huddle and sending Chris Jones as the wide out on the right side. Wayne's another one of the speedy receivers that the Blue Dons didn't have last week against Toronto. And he's looking for him. He lobs the pass downfield, incomplete. He didn't, uh, he, he tried to hit Brian Maley coming uh, straight down the center of the field and just lobbed it, trying to get Maley to run underneath it and threw it about two yards too far for Maley to get to it. Maley was behind the secondary, so they had a chance to pick up some big yards as the safety for Bishop Donahue coming up on the run fake and He's really out of position as Maley ran by him, and Maley is not one of the quicker uh, receivers for the Blue Dog. Third down five, Shodzinski split right. As rolling left now on the option, and here's Backel trying to turn the corner, and I believe he'll be denied the first down, knocked out of bounds over at about the 36-yard line. That would be shy of a first down. See where they spot it. Just over the 35, says the official. So it's going to be fourth down and about three for the Blue Dons and a punting situation. And Ken Kazmarek will drop back in punt formation for Madonna. 4.42 to go, first quarter. There's no score. Kazmarek waiting for the snap. It's a good one. And he gets the kickoff. High, wobbly punt. Fair catch signaled for and taken back at the 36 yard line. So the Blue Dons and the Bishops trading punts here in the first quarter of play. There's no score, nothing to nothing, as the Bishops now take over first and 10 at their own 36-yard line. 30-yard punt that time for Ken Kazmarek. Now with 4.37, the Dons not controlling too much of the clock on that drive, having the ball for really less than a minute with the incomplete pass and the ball going out of bounds on the far side. So Bishop Donahue with plenty of time and from good field position just over their 35-yard line. Out of the huddle they come. The Bishops on the attack. Suter the quarterback. This time under the center. Pitching the ball back. Trying to turn the corner is Moore. And Moore will pick up uh, maybe three or four yards. Over to make the stop was Frank Lachino for the Blue Dogs. <coughs> and the Blue Dogs trying to swarm on defense going towards the end as the Bishops uh, might expect later on to try something with the uh, reverse motion to come back against the green against Madonna with everybody going as quick and as hard as they are. Second down, about six and a half yards to go for the Bishops at their own 39-yard uh, line. Wing back left, now man in motion to the right side, and here's a pitch to Riley. Riley trying to turn the corner on the far side, and I believe he has a first down as he carried four Madonna Blue Dons over there with him. David Burns was in on the stop along with John Molino, but a first down for the Bishops as they get the ball out over the 45 to the 46-yard line. So a pickup of seven yards on the play for Riley as he now has 11 yards in the ball game on four carries. First and 10 at the 47. The Bishops moving right to left. First quarter action, no score. Madonna and Bishop Donahue. Wing back to the right side. Suter fakes the handoff, gives on an end around. The ball loose now in the backfield. They tried a little razzle-dazzle that time, 
and the Blue Dons almost came up with a the football. They tried an end around and then wanted to give it back again. A double reverse tried to give the ball to Riley. They gave it off to Brad Fox, and then he was going to give it to Riley, and that exchange, they fumbled the football, and it goes all the way back to the 35-yard line. So the Bishops would have to get to the Madonna 48. It's 17 yards to go, second and 17. The ground game for Bishop Donahue with the two sacks and that bad play right there, 13 yards minus in nine tries. Give on a draw play and the Blue Dons smell that one out and they bring him down as the, uh, the quarterback tried a draw play, gave the ball to Moore and uh, he's brought down. So it'll be third down and about 24. As he loses another couple of yards on the play back to the 33 yard line. Third and 24 for the Bishops. And they'll reach into a bag of tricks here. They don't come out in the shotgun as Suter goes under center. And here's a pitch coming around the left side and being brought down after a gain of uh, maybe four or five yards as Riley. Over to make the stop for Madonna was Brian Hawk, the six foot, 195 pound senior for the Blue Dodge. So fourth and a ton for the Bishops, and they'll have to punt the ball away, and Kazmarek drops back at his own 30-yard line. Minute 58 to go here in the first quarter, no score. And we'll see if the Blue Dons get good pressure. John Nyman coming close to blocking the last kick, and he's coming from the right side. Arroyo back to kick, and he will get the kick away. Beautiful, high spiral, fair catch signaled for and taken by the Blue Dons at their 30-yard line. So that's where Madonna will start at their own 30. Moving from left to right, these two teams just trading punts, feeling each other out here in the first quarter of play. No score with a minute 38 left to go in the first quarter. 33-yard punt that time for Bishop Donahue. No return again by the Blue Dons. And Jason Backel brings his team up to the line of scrimmage. He's got Daughtery and Hawk in an eye formation. Backle gives to Daughtery. Daughtery follows Hawk into the line, drives forward across the 35, out to the 38-yard line. Hawk went into the line. Daughtery the second back through, and they get the ball out to the 38-yard line. It'll be second down and about a yard to go. Second in the yard, the ball one yard in from the hash mark on the near side of the field. Lakino is split to the right side. Chris Jones to the left. Pro set behind the quarterback backle. Give the ball to Hawk on the left side, and Hawk gets a first down as he crosses the 40-yard line, gets to the 42. So it's a first down for the Blue Dons at their own 42-yard line. Porco and Nyman leading the way that time for Hawk as he just piled into the line to stop to the left of the center and picks up the first down out at the 42, second for the Blue Dons, and a four-yard pickup for Bryant. Under a minute to go now in the first quarter. No score. Madonna and Bishop Donahue, the Blue Dons with the ball. First and 10 at their own 42. And a handoff, this time to Daughtery. He's trying to come outside, being dragged down from behind after he crosses the 45, gets to uh, maybe the 46-yard line before he's dragged down. They just grabbed hold of his shirt, wouldn't let go. They'll spot the ball at the 47-yard line. It'll be second down and just about six yards to go. Second and six for the Blue Dons at the 47. 21 seconds to go in the first quarter. They may get this playoff, and that'll be about it. Jones split to the left side. Pro set behind the quarterback Backle. Backle on the option play along the line of scrimmage. Couldn't get rid of the football as the Bishops did a good job of covering the pitch man. He couldn't get rid of the football, and they bring him down back inside the 45 to the 44-yard line as the first quarter ends. That's the end of one quarter of play with the score. Madonna nothing, Bishop Donahue nothing. We'll be back in 30 seconds. To protect the pass, knock the quarterback down. Third down eight for the Blue Dons as they have the ball at their own 44-yard line. Jason Backel under center. Backel fades back to throw, looks, throws a lob pass out on the right side, incomplete, intended for Daughtery. 
He reached up with one arm, tried to drag it down. It was thrown too high, and then he got popped real good. He'll go back and tell him, don't throw it high anymore. Well, it's kind of hard not to throw it high to Daughtery. Daughtery in back with uh, the shorter board arms. And uh, it's coming a little bit too high having to throw over the line that time. That's why I'm taking a very deep drop. So Casimir goes back in a punt formation for another time. And Kazmarek gets the snap. A flag goes down as he gets off a short, wobbly punt. It's going to hit at the 40, get a Madonna bounce inside the 35, and go down, be uh, downed at the 29-yard line. But we have gain. Well, we have a flag upfield. Let's see what this is all about. I think he called delay of game against Madonna. This is a sign. Illegal procedure against the Blue Dons as they cost inside their own 40-yard line. And a illegal procedure is the indication, so Madonna must have had somebody moving. Put the ball at the Blue Don 39, and once again, Kazmarek will drop back in punt formation. And Foos and Moore are back to receive. Kazmarek waiting for the snap. Gets a good one. The rush is on. He gets a kick away. This one a driving kick that they are going to have to let roll, and it will be downed at the 28-yard line. So they lose a yard on the exchange. Put the ball at the 28. They had it at the 29 earlier, so on the five-yard penalty, they lose a yard, and it'll be first and 10 for the Bishops. At their own 28, they move left to right, early moments of the second quarter, and we are scoreless. 11.32 to go in the second quarter, and we really yet to see anybody sustain anything uh, on the ground or through the air. And Bishop Donnie now with the football on their own 28 comes out and will try to do something with the football. Suter puts a man in motion to the left side. Suter gives the ball off, and Riley, is, or rather Moore, is just stood straight up. I don't know whether he did get, he, I guess he did get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. First man there was Brian Maley, six foot three, 205 pound senior of the Blue Dons. And it would be no gain on the play. It'll be second down and 10, the ball at the Bishop's 38 yard line. Bishop's up to the line of scrimmage. Bowers is split out here on the right side, Foos to the left. Suter under center, calls signals, gives the ball in a counter play, and Riley finds a little bit of running room until he runs into uh, Joe Chinoski, the 6'1", 195-pounder of the Blue Dodds, and uh, he'll get uh, yardage to the 30-yard um, line. It'll be third down and nine, gain of one on that play. And the Blue Dons looking now a little bit more for that action coming back as we've talked about the reverse motion by Bishop Donahue and they've tried it a couple of times and it hasn't worked at all. Using counters in there. All right, we're back in the shotgun formation this time. And the quarterback gets the direct snap. Now he'll go on a draw and he'll be tripped up. One of the Blue Dons just reached out a, an arm and it was uh, Joe Chinoski who just reached out an arm and grabbed his foot when he looked like he might pick up some good yardage. Well, he does pick up some four yards on the play. It'll be fourth and five, and the punting exhibition goes on, and Kazmarek drops back to receive as Tony Arroyo drops back to kick. And he's getting off a couple of 33-yard kicks for the Bishops. He's standing at his own 20, gets the snap, and the kick is another beautiful, high, wobbly kick. And the fair catch signaled for and taken. It looked like he had some running room there, but he takes the fair catch, does Kazmarek, at the Blue Dawn 34. And another 33-yard kick. Well, we've played a lot of this football game between the 25s, Michael. And we expected this really coming in as the two teams were very much uh, ground teams. And you had to wonder, uh, what the football teams had in store, they're really just trying to figure each other out. They haven't uh, played very many, I think, common opponents, except for uh, maybe Bel Air St. John's. High formation, give the ball to Burns, and Burns wrestles forward to the 40-yard line before he's brought down. The stop out there was by Chris Taskeline, 6'1", 220-pound senior. And uh, good yardage for Burns on that play, about six. It'll be second down and four. The ball right at the 40-yard line on the hash mark on the far side of the field. Madonna moving right to left. And we've yet to see David Oseba carry the football. 
And here's a handoff on the left side and driving is David Oseba. And Oseba going to be close to the first down as he gets the ball out near the 44 yard line. David Oseba possessing a pretty good legs drive, uh, some power and speed out of that position. Gives the Blue Dons an extra threat back there as the Blue Dons with four pretty good running backs come up in a third and short situation. Third down and less than a yard to go for the Blue Dons at their own 44. Back hole. Gives the ball on the right side. Oseba has a first down and more as he crosses the 50 and gets to the 45 yard line of the Bishops. Now they say, is there a fumble or what? Did the ball hit the ground yes they say he hit the ground he coughed up the football but the officials say he hit the ground they'll spot the ball at the Bishop's 46 yard line it's a first down for the Blue Dodge 11 yard pickup for Saban the first time anybody has crossed the 50 yard line tonight so the Blue Dodge at the 46 back hole. Wants to throw, looks downfield. Now he's going to run with a football at the 40, still running at the 35, and slips at the 30 yard line as he tried to cut back. So he gets down to the 30 as uh, Tascaline, or Tony Arroyo rather, brings him down. Jason Backle looked like he wanted to throw the ball, then spotted an opening and runs down to, they'll spot it at the 31 yard line. First and 10 for the Blue Dons and the first real scoring threat by either team as the Blue Dons have it first and 10 at the Bishops 31 with 7.50 to go in the first half. There's no score. Backle. Bumps into Burns. Burns takes the football around right in. Goes inside the 20 yard line and he'll get down to the 19. Looked like that play might get broken as Burns and um, Backel bumped into each other. And it's another first down for the Blue Dons. They'll spot the ball. Let's call it the 18 yard line of the Bishops. You can call it the 18 yard line. I can't see it. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Out of the huddle they come. Backle at the 18 yard line. Brings the Blue Dons up to the line of scrimmage. Burns and Oseba the running backs. Backle takes the snap. Gives to Burns. Burns drives into the line. Gets close to the 15 yard line. Before he's piled under by a host of Bishops. It'll be Burns second down. Right the line of by the of the and line. about seven yards to go. Second and about se uh, six. Excuse me. At the... Just inside the Bishop's 15 yard line. Second, go ahead, Mike. 28 yards and four carries for Burns. Second and six. Backle calls signals. Backle with a quarterback keeper drives into the line, and the middle guard just nailed it. Tony Riley drove him backwards, the 5'10, 165 pound junior. They'll give him about a yard on the play. It'll be third down and five. Third down and five. The ball is at the Bishop's 12 yard line, third and five. Third and five at the 12 for the Blue Dons. Backle takes the snap, going along the line of scrimmage, ties to drive it inside, and he maybe got to the 10. So it's going to be fourth down, and the Blue Dons will do what? Backle on the keeper once again. Are they going to send in Beloga? They do. No, it'll be fourth down and two at the 10 yard line and the Blue Dons are gonna call a timeout. With 5.57 to go in the first half, the score nothing to nothing. Madonna and Bishop Donahue will be back in 60 seconds. And the Blue, Dons, the Blue Dons decide to go for it. There's a mix up in the backfield. Backel dives into the line and I don't think he picked up the first down. A mix up in the backfield as uh, Backle and Burns bumped into each other. Now they're going to set the ball down and they may, uh, let's see if they're going to measure or the, what the official's going to indicate. They're going to bring the chains on. Yeah, it should be short. It looks like he's not uh, far enough inside the 10 yard line. Well, they'll bring it out. I don't know. That may have been a good spot. Let's see what happens. They stretch it out and it is first down Madonna at the seven yard line. The Blue Dons pick it up. Two yard pickup for Backwell now with 29 yards rushing in seven attempts and the Blue Dons keep the drive alive and again, well, I'm getting into a rut. <laughs> Can't call First anything anymore. 545 to go in the first half. The clock running. The Blue Dons with the ball. First and goal at the seven. Jason Backwell. 
Brings his team up to the line of scrimmage. Backle takes the snap, hands it off on the left side. Oseba gets down very close to the three before he's brought down. Oseba that time butting heads with Dan Bonar and also in there assisting on the tackle is Chris Welsh. And it looked like Oseba might be able to power his way in, but he hit heads and bounced backwards. It'll be second and goal for the Blue Dons at the three yard line. Oseba picks up four yards on that carry. Backle again sets him. And Backle on the option, pitching the ball back to Oseba. He goes into the end zone for the touchdown. David Oseba around the right side on the option, took the pitch from Jason Backle and goes in for the score. And the Blue Dons draw first blood. They lead it six to nothing with 4.59 to go in the first half. And now Balaga comes on to attempt the extra point. During that timeout, uh, the Blue Dons changed their mind. We're going to go for the field goal and then decided to go for the first down, picked it up, and then get it into the end zone three plays later. So now Balaga out of a Jason Backle hold. The snap, it's down, it's up, and it is off to the right with 4.59 to go here in the first half of play. The Blue Dons lead Bishops 6 to nothing. We'll be back in 30. Six yards in 11 plays. You've got four minutes and 23 seconds off the clock. David Osaba with the touchdown. Belogas kick no good to the Madonna Blue Dons. 6 to nothing here in the second quarter at McMechan. Beloga ready to kick off, moves forward on the football, and there's the kick, and he hit a boomer. All the way down to the three, out over the five to ten. Far sidelines at the 15. Tries to cut back, and the Blue Dons are on top of him at about the 18-yard line. Foose got that ball at the three. Must be something about the air here. That's two tremendous kickoffs we've seen, Michael. Both going in the same direction. Maybe there's a little bit more wind than we think. <laughs> Just a cool evening. Maybe that helps the ball travel a little bit, too. It'll be first and 10 for the Bishops at their own 18-yard line, and the Bishops find themselves on the short end of a 6-0 score with 4.45 left to go in this rather quick first half of play. Out of the huddle. Suter under center. Takes the snap, pitching the ball back to Riley. Riley on a halfback option pass, has a man open downfield, under threw it. We're going to have interference. Interference is going to be called against the Blue Dons. I don't know, Michael. I don't see him touch him. I didn't see him touch him either, but I guess they might be calling him more or less for face guarding. And that time he broke clean behind uh, the Blue Dons. Uh, Brad Fox, that is, broke clean into the Blue Dons secondary as Riley threw the pass. And uh, they get the call. They'll get the 15 yards in the first down from the line of scrimmage. 15 yard penalty and a first down for the Bishops as the halfback option pass was underthrown. And uh, on, in trying to come back for the football, the Blue Dons are called for um, pass interference. Pass interference. So it'll be first and 10 for the Bishops at their own 33 yard line. Out of the huddle come the bishops, clad in green and gold, green jerseys, gold headgear, gold trousers, gold numerals. Suter, wing back to the right, pitching the ball, trying to come around the left side is Moore, and Moore finds running room across the 40 to the 42 yard line. Spotted at the 41. Over to make the stop for the Blue Dons was David Burns along with Joe Chinoski. Also Brian Maley in on the stop. They'll spot the ball at the 41, a gain of eight. It'll be second down and two as the clock runs with four minutes to go now in the first half of play. Madonna leading 6 nothing. And that rush, the 15th of the game for Bishop Dunny, who finally puts them in positive yardage on the ground. Suter under center once again. Suter pitching the ball to Riley. Riley trying to turn the corner. He's tripped up as he gets across the 40 out to the 42 yard line. Daughtery makes the stop. It'll be a third down and about a yard for the Bishops at their own 42 yard line. Donahue moving left to right trying to go outside now. They have been uh, trying inside a good bit and now they're trying to attack the ends of the Blue Dons. You might expect uh, Riley to go straight ahead here right up the middle. 
Suter with the quarterback keeper has a first down and more as he drives out to the 45 yard line. So it'll be a first down for the Bishops at their own 45 as the clock stops with 3.09 to go in the first half of play as they set the chains on the far sidelines. The Madonna Blue Dons leading six to nothing. Lance Suter that time just taking a quick snap and taking it right up the middle as hoping to catch the Blue Dons not really firing off the ball in that situation and they didn't and they got the three yards and the first down. Their third of the ball game. Shotgun formation and the snap back to the quarterback. He looks downfield, lobs a pass, has a man open, overthrown. Oh, he stopped. If he didn't stop, he might have had the football at the 30-yard line. But he did a little twist. Brad Fox was being covered by Burns, and Fox, had he not stopped, Michael might have had a pass reception. That play was uh, similar to the one that was run by Oakland way back in the first game of the season where they brought a receiver out to the sidelines and then up, and he beat the Madonna Blue Dons that night and, uh, on that play. It's come up to the line of scrimmage with a second and 10 situation, 2.48 to go here in the first half. On top six to nothing. Again, the shotgun formation. And Suter with the football. He'll keep it. Suter to the 50. Suter to the 45. Still running and brought down after he gets a first down at the Blue Don 44 yard line. So the way it appears that the Bishop Donahue is going to attack Madonna now is try to spread them out. They're having problems running at them. They're having problems running around them. Spread them out a little bit. 2.37 to go in this first half. Madonna with a 6 0 lead, and the Bishops cross the 50-yard line for the first time. They're at the Madonna 44. Spread formation. Two wide outs. And back to throw is Suter. Throws the pass upfield. Incomplete in and out of the hands of Fox as Burns was over to cover as he was running an out pattern on the near sidelines and he couldn't hold on to the football. And it looks as if uh, Suter has a very strong arm. He's able to get the ball quickly to on those out patterns, so the Blue Dons are going to have to watch his underneath throws, and it'll be a similar situation as to the last one with Fox. Go underneath, throw underneath, and then throw deep. If he gets behind him, it could be a quick six for the Bishop. Again, the shotgun formation. And the snap to Suter. Rushes on. He eludes one tackler and then will be dropped for a loss as he's brought down back at the 46-yard line. Nyman was in on the stop. John Nyman along with Molino. And it'll be third down and 11 for the Bishops at the Madonna 46-yard line. The clock's running with a minute 57 to go in the first half of play. Madonna with a 6-0 lead over Bishop Donahue. Bishop's taking a lot of time in the huddle. Third sack of the first half by the Blue Dons as they've been getting good pressure on Suter and uh, that's probably why he's forced to run a lot of quarterback draws up the middle. Two wide outs, two slot backs, back to throw. Throw a screen over the middle and a flag goes down as the screen is broken up by two. the Blue Dons' Brian Maley. We have two flags down. Flags kind of roughing the passer against the Blue Dons is one. And holding probably the other one. So it'll just, they'll run the play over again. We'll have offsetting penalties holding against the Bishops and roughing the passer against the Blue Dons. Be no play. It'll be third down and 11. And the Blue Dons had sent, uh, I, think, I believe it was David Oseba coming straight up the defensive front. He was just flying at the quarterback. He couldn't stop himself before he put a hit on uh, Suter and he drew the penalty for that. So again, offsetting penalty. Still third and 11 for the Bishops from the Blue Don 46 yard line with a minute 35 left to go in the first half. And the clock starts to run. And now they stop. Well, they have to. They didn't pick up his flag. The referee didn't pick up his flag for the roughing call. Now he's got it, put it in his pocket, and we're ready to go. Shotgun. Suter with a direct snap. Looks upfield. Has time. Throws the pass. It's batted away. Stepping in front of the intended receiver was Lucchino. Frank Lucchino steps in front of the intended receiver and knocks the ball away. So it will be an incompleted pass and it will set up fourth and 11 for the Bishops at the Blue Don 46 with a minute 21 to go in the first half. And you look around and see if Tony Aurora has gone in there and he is in punt formation. He has gotten off some very high kicks and a high kick right now could pin the Blue Dons deep in their own territory as Burns drops back in punt formation. I don't think they believe it. He gets the snap. 
And he gets the kick away. High wobbly punt. And the Blue Dons let it bounce. It gets a good Bishop Donahue bounce. And it's going to be down inside the five yard line. Good punt and good roll. And the Bishops covered it well. The Blue Dons will have the ball down inside their own five. Let's see where they're going to spot it. Spot the ball at about the two. Put the ball at the two yard line where it'll be first and 10 for the Blue Dons with 109 left to go. And I don't think Madonna will get too fancy down here leading six to nothing. And we should get some timeouts by the Bishop Dunny defense if Madonna is unable to pick up a first down. Backle takes the snap, hands the ball off on the right side and driving with the football is Hawk. And Hawk will get out uh, very close to the 10 yard line. So a good pickup, some eight yards on that play as he gets out to uh, very close to the 10 yard line. It'll be second down. Well, they say three, so put it at the nine. Second and about three yards to go. Backle takes the snap, hands on a counter play this time, and Daughtery will get a first down, I believe, as he gets out uh, very close to the 14-yard line. It is a first down for the Blue Dons, and we're down to 25 seconds as the clock stops, and now it goes again. They get the chain set on the far side of the field, and we may have seen the last play of the half. Let's see if the Blue Dons elect to go one more time. No, they're looking up at the clock. They'll not run another play. We're down to 10 seconds. Now they do come up to the line of scrimmage, down to seven. And Backall taking his time, and I don't think Madonna will run another playoff. Now wait, the official stops it. That's the end of the half. And that's the end of the first half of play. And the Blue Dons take a six to nothing lead. In at halftime, it's Madonna six. Bishop Donington taken at about the 10, out over the 15, Foos to the 20, and nailed as he's driven down. And we have a little extracurricular after the play but uh, they break that up rather quick, quickly. And they'll spot the ball at the 24, let's call it first and 10 for the Bishops at their own 24 yard line. Bishop Dunny not able to get a whole lot of going consistently on the ground or in the air. As we said, nobody's completed a pass on the ground. Bishop Dunny stopped for just plus 15 yards in the first half. So Suter brings his team up to the line of scrimmage. He'll have uh, Riley and Moore behind him in the backfield. Suter fakes, wants to throw, looks upfield, has a man deep and overthrows Fox. Brad Fox had double coverage on him that time and uh, it was uh, Burns and Jones downfield with him and the pass overthrown, so incompleted pass. It'll be second and 10. Bishop Donahue trying to come out at the start of the second half as Syracuse came out to start the football game this afternoon against Penn State, throwing deep down the middle and hopefully trying to get the big play and get momentum switched over to their side. Right now it's a fairly even football game with a second and ten upcoming for the Bishops. Madonna with a 6-0 lead. Suter under center. He'll pitch the ball. Coming around the right side is Moore, and Moore finds a little bit of running room. And then the Madonna defense catches up with him and pushes him out of bounds. Let's see where the official says he went out. At about the 28 yard line. Gain of five. It'll be second down five at the Bishop's 28 yard line. Just over half a minute gone here in the third quarter of play. Madonna with a 6 0 lead over the Bishop's and a nice little chill in the air now as we have really football weather. Man in the slot right, that's Fox. Foose is split out right. And they're in a shotgun. Now they send Fox in motion and on a direct snap, here's Riley going around the left side and Riley claws his way for good yardage out over the 35 to the 37 yard line before he's brought down by a host of Madonna tacklers. Over there was Burns and uh, John Nyman to make the stop. But it's a first down for the Bishops at their own 37 yard line. Riley that time taking the direct snap out of the shotgun. This time Suter, the quarterback, goes under the center. Wing back to the right side. And the Bishops go in motion. And the right team for the Bishops as they come up to their own 33-yard line. 
Suter takes the snap, pitches the ball, and here comes Moore around the right side. Moore still running as he gets to the 35-yard line. He's brought down there by uh, David Oseba of the Madonna Blue Don. Spot the ball at the 35. It'll be second down and about 12 yards to go. Second and 12 at the 35. A save at that time shooting from the inside linebacker spot just chased Moore down from the outside. Brennan Lafferty forced him to turn back inside and a Sable was able to catch him just as he got to the 35 yard line. Shotgun formation. Suter and no the ball is a direct snap to Riley and Riley veers off the left side. The Blue Dons will catch him as he couldn't turn the corner. The Blue Dons stringing out very well. Jones was over there for the Blue Dons. Also in on the stop, John Porco uh, for Madonna. So it will be a gain of, let's give him two on the play. Let's call it third down and 10. The ball at the Bishops 37 yard line. Third and 10 for the Bishops. 9.42 to go in the third quarter of play. Six nothing, Madonna in the lead. Foose is split out here on the right side as they go back into that shotgun formation. Man in motion to the left is Bowers. And the snap uh, back to Suter. Suter looks downfield, has a man open, Foos. He catches it on the run, and he's brought down as he gets inside the 25-yard line. Foos downfield gets inside the 25-yard line. He'll be brought down at the 24. I'm, let's see where they're gonna spot him. Put it right at the 25, 24-yard line. All right, it'll be first and 10 for the Bishops at the 24. 38-yard pass. Well, the best uh, field position for the Bishops now. Suter from the shotgun formation. Fox goes in motion, direct snap to Riley. Riley finds running room off the left side, spins and twists, and he'll get down to uh, about the 17 or 18-yard line. Jones will make the stop. They'll spot the ball at the 17-yard um, line. It'll be second down and two yards to go for the Bishops. And that play put a charge into the fans on the near sideline. And Bishop Donahue now coming out and uh, trying to attack the Blue Dons as they've been able to move the football from their own 24. In the shotgun. And the snap comes to, uh, comes to Moore. And as Moore got the ball, he fell down on one knee. As he got the snap, he fell to one knee, and so there's going to be a loss on the play, and that's going to set up a third down and about uh, seven for the Bishops at the Madonna 21-yard line. Third and seven. We're losing four yards on the play back to the 21. And a big third down play coming up for Bishop Donahue. Two split to the left side. Suter uh, in a shotgun with Moore and Riley on each side of him. And the snap is to Suter. He's gonna run the football, following a block, still running and down inside the 15-yard line to the 14-yard line. He may have a first down. And he may have an official measurement here, I think. No, he's gonna call it a first down right off the bat. First and 10 for the Bishops at the Madonna 14-yard line. Madonna leading six to nothing, 7.49 to go in the third quarter. And the Bishops with their best offensive series of the evening, coming up to the line of scrimmage. Out of that shotgun formation that the Blue Don's been having trouble stopping here in the second half. Here's the snap to Riley. Riley following his blocking, spins around, still driving as he gets very close to the 11 yard line. The stop out there by the Blue Don's Tim Dottery. And they'll spot the ball just shy of the 10. It'll be second down and about seven yards to go. Second and seven, the ball just shy of the Madonna 10-yard line. Fox is split to the left side. In the shotgun formation, the snap to Suter. He wants to run with the ball, trying to turn the corner. He'll not do it. He'll lose yardage as he's brought uh, down back at about the 17. Make it third and 10 for the Bishops. So it'll be third down, just about nine yards to go. Back at the, call it the 13 yard line. Third down and nine at the Blue Dawn 13. Shotgun formation. 
Suter takes the snap. He wants to throw, lobs a pass, has a man open. It's caught by Fox inside the five-yard line. Daughtery makes the stop, but the ball will go to the five, and it's a first down for the Bishops. 6.17 to go in this third quarter of play. Madonna with a 6-0 lead, but the Bishops knocking at the Blue Dawn door. Ball is inside the five as the Bishops come up to the line of scrimmage. Suter under center, takes the snap, dives forward, and uh, he'll be denied the end zone. Got the ball up to about the... In, just inside the three-yard line. Let's call it the two-yard line. It'll be second and goal at the two for the Bishops. And we saw a great defensive stand last night by the Warehead Riders, and uh, Madonna Blue Dons need to come up with one now as Bishop Donnie has come out with fire in their eyes, and they've uh, moved the football right down the field. Out of the huddle they come. Suter under center. Puts a man in motion to the right side. Suter takes motion. the snap, goes into the end zone, but we're going to have illegal motion against the Bishops. And that'll be a costly penalty because it denies the touchdown and also will take the Bishops out beyond the five-yard line.